Hi guys, welcome to my video. Um, this is basically a travel art kit video. This is the kind of stuff that I take away with me when I go around locally, so to the park, uh, art galleries, cafes. This is not the kind of kit that I take away with me when I go on holiday. Um, that is actually a more condensed kit, which I'll show you in an upcoming video. So firstly, within the stuff that I take away with me, I, ha I take two sketchbooks. The first one is a, a moleskin pink, purpley pink, cover sketchbook and these just has plain pages which I use for sketches and um, drawings that kind of stuff um, whereas this little sketchbook is actually a watercolor sketchbook so um, the pages are actually a lot thicker and heavier um, and it can actually hold watercolors a little bit better than the other sketchbook um, this is the pocket size one it also has a little fold at the back where you can store little notes and tickets and that kind of stuff and they both have an elastic band that pops over at the front the um, pencil case itself is from wh smith um, i chose this pencil case because of all the splodges that looks like paint and i think that's really really cute um, the pencil case is actually available at the moment so if you guys are interested i'll leave a link below the pencil case actually opens up as one big zip that opens up around like this um, there's three compartments one zipped up compartment with a mesh cover um, another compartment with, with an elastic that you can put your pens and then a large compartment at the back so the first thing i have in here is a silicone cupcake holder this basically holds my water so it's i use it as a water container i know it's super flimsy and not very sturdy um, but it's great for travel and it collapses as well so um, what more do you need the next thing I have is a sports band. So I actually use this to soak up my water as well as to clean my brushes. Um, um, so it's really handy for that. I also have a tiny, tiny paint palette. There's four mixing wells that you can put your water or um, your paint within there. Um, and it's also a shape of a little apple. So that's really, really cute. Next thing I have is my two water brushes. Um, these are the Pentel Aquash water brushes i have the size large and the size medium um, these are super convenient and travel friendly because you can actually open them up and so fill this little hole with water um, pop it back in and whenever you want to use it you just squeeze as much water or as little as you need and it wets your um, brushes the brushes are nylon um, so it's synthetic and really high quality and you can actually get really detailed with these as well so um really really flexible um i also have a tiny diy watercolor palette and inside i have a tiny winsor newton retractable water brush i've actually never used this but it's handy and it's small so i thought why not keep it in um i have a little credit card for scraping some um paint and that kind of stuff um and then the paint itself is actually winsor newton cotman um grade watercolor in half pans and um, i've done little color swatches of that here as well so that i know what colors i have within my little palette um, and then it folds away super nice and compact i also have a similar tin it's just in a different design um, this tin actually holds my caran d'ache neo colors wax crayon and um, these are really great as well because they're really flexible you can actually draw on these you can dip the uh, dab this in water and draw on it directly you can even use these use the water brush um, and get paint directly from them as well so they're really great um, i actually cut these in size and put them in this tin so that they would fit um, and they're, they're literally one of my favorite mediums to use and i i, I love them so much um, next thing I have is the tiny water bottle and um, you just open it up fill it with water and then you can just pour it into your little water container and use it um, for my new colors or that kind of stuff um, I have three of these Pushka uni pens um, white metallic gold and metallic pink and um, the white I actually use as highlights for my watercolor so whenever I want to add more white or more more highlight onto that that's what I would use because they're really opaque and they go on top of the paint beautifully um, and then these two I just really like and I love the color so that's why I have them with me I um, I have three of these Stedler um, fine liners in blue pink and green they're just my favorite colors and um, I really enjoy um, doing little tiny designs with them and they're really great for outlining as well. I have these Derwent Intense 
color water soluble pencils and um, these are great because you can actually color in like normal water um, like normal coloring pencils but you can actually also add water to them and it makes the pigmentation really intense and ink like uh, and I really like that and um, I also have four of these tiny uh, retractable pa paint brushes and these are actually nail art brushes that I bought from eBay but they're really good for watercolors and they're so much cheaper than the actual real watercolor retractable water brushes so they're really great um, moving on to the next compartment um, I have three fine liners in different sizes and um, these are great for outlining as well as ink drawings that kind of stuff um, I have a micron in 01 and a uni pen in 03 and 05 just a few different sizes for different um, shape lines. Um, I also have a mechanical pencil. Um, I enjoy drawing my um, paint outlines with, the, with a mechanical pencil instead because the lines are really thin um, and also you don't need to sharpen it as well so that's really convenient. I have two Pentel um, brush pens so this is the brush pen and this is the touch feud. Um, they're really great because you can actually go really fine or really thick with them as well so um, for brush painting, um, adding ink to your um, drawings, that kind of stuff. So really great, love them. Um, I have a woodless charcoal pencil. This is just to add additional sh um, shading if I need to. Um, and there you go. Next thing I have is a retractable eraser. This is really great because it, you can actually get really precise with your rubbering, if that's such a thing. Um, and it doesn't get dirty being in my pencil case because it's got a pen cover with it. So love that. Um, On to the next compartment, it obviously zips up. Um, first thing I have in here is my refill from a mechanical pencil. This is just a Pentel 05 HP. Um, I also have two Bulldog clips in gold obviously um, this is great just to hold my pages back when I'm painting or drawing on them so that it doesn't go everywhere. Um, I have a sharpener, also in gold, um, because um, really, really important <laughs> for the colouring pencils. Um, I have a sellotape, and, and I mean, why not? You, you never know when you might need a little sellotape, and it's really, really cute and tiny, tiny. Um, I also have two sponges um, for different watercolour effects, as well as to soak up my waters. I also have a metal ruler. A metal ruler is really great because I can actually use it to cut um, pages out of my sketch. Um, so it's really, really good, um, handy. Um, last thing I have in here is this, which is basically a two pen holder that you can slide onto your sketchbook. Um, and you can take it around and it's really handy so you don't have to hold things. Just pop your pencil in like that. Um, and I love that as well. So yeah, this is everything that I take with me when I'm out and about in Manchester so um, I know it's a lot of stuff but I just can't be without some of my medium and I really enjoy using some of these um, so I really hope you enjoy watching the video and um, stay tuned for my more condensed version of this what I actually take when I go traveling um, if you haven't subscribed please do so in the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video okay thank you bye